the body of this baby perfectly resists corrosion. When by, you need to pay attention to the clarity of closing the doors. Due to the fact that the lupo has quite large hinges, where the hinges is possible in copies of the first years of production. If it is insignificant, door locks can be adjusted, and it is recommended to lubricate the hinges periodically. If body parts are damaged, it will be possible to buy the necessary spare parts only on order. The interior is made of high quality and pleasant to the touch materials. Trunk volume, 130 liters, makes the baby related to the best supercars in the world, but unlike the, the Lupo's cargo compartment can be increased to 830 liters by folding the rear seat. Most often we meet cars with 1.0 liter engines. The unit is reliable and unpretentious in service. Replacing the timing belt will cost about $70. In addition, in all engines, it is imperative to check the condition of the water pump, which is driven by the timing belt. If there is a backlash in the pulley or if antifreeze is leaking, the pump must be replaced. When buying an ultra-efficient diesel version of the Lupo 3L, you need to weigh the pros and cons for, says fuel consumption, 3 liters per 100 kilometers in the combined cycle, against a possible prospect of expensive repairs of fuel equipment. The use of low-quality fuel leads to the failure of pump injectors, the cost of one, taking into account the return of the old one, is about $700. Oddly enough, the GDI version, equipped with the time-tested and familiar 1.6-liter engine, may turn out to be cheap to maintain. In addition, there will be no problems with finding spare parts for it. All engines need timely filter replacement. For example, if you do not replace the air one in time, the air mass meter, which costs $139 for 1.6 liter versions, may fail. The Wolf Cub was equipped with three types of gearboxes, the usual, mechanics, automatic, and a manual gearbox with an automatic clutch drive. All transmissions are very reliable. The running gear is Lupo's trump card. By design, it is similar to the Golf 3 and Passat B4, many parts from these models fit. The most wear parts, the stabilizer bar bushings, take care of 50 to 60,000 kilometers, silent blocks, 80 to 100,000. When driving on our roads, you need to be careful, because the ground clearance of Lupo is small, only 110 millimeters. The steering was equipped with an electric power steering. The version with the 1.0 liter engine was equipped with the conventional power steering. All of them are similar to those installed on the VW Polo and Skoda Fabia. Over time, the amplifier pump seals may leak but the rail has a high resource. The braking system with ABS is effective and will not cause problems. And the electrics have an Achilles heel, a brake light switch, the malfunction of which is signaled by the EPC light on the instrument panel. Its failure on a car with automatic transmission will not allow you to turn on an overdrive, and you will have to get to the service in a whisper in the first one. A new limit switch costs $24. The rest of the electrics of the car is quite reliable. Despite its modest size, the car is quite adult. For a metropolis, it is better to look for a car. Fans of hot cars should pay attention to the GDI version. A kid with a 125 horsepower engine is able to drive an ironic smile from the faces of the owners of much more serious and expensive cars.